Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Becky. And we're going to live the first 90 days of our post-honeymoon married life strictly on Bitcoin. 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 A, a virtual currency. Honestly, when I first heard that Becky and Austin were going to live on Bitcoin for three months, I was pretty worried for them. It's our goal to take care of all of our necessities with Bitcoin. How does this currency ever really become legit if you know, the federal government really seems to fundamentally, and they do, have a problem with it? Governments are boring. They're static, they're bureaucratic, they like the past. They like things to be totally predictable, just a model that they can control. The feds pretend to be very excited about Bitcoin like they're very excited about all internet technologies. The feds hate Bitcoin. Now, if you don't know what Bitcoin is, want to buy some Bitcoin? <laughs> what was the worst that could happen? Well, losing their money, right? I mean, they could lose all their money. I don't believe that there's an algorithm that's safe. Right now, we're headed out to go talk to gas stations because all of this is great that we can take care of almost everything, but if I can't get around, we're in a world of trouble. Have you ever heard of Bitcoin before? What? In Bitcoin? This kind of stuff is scary, you know? I mean, the volatility of it has been outrageous. You know, it goes from 100 to 260 to 100. I don't even care about asking anybody anymore if they take Bitcoin. I'm just sort of over it. Okay. Frankly, becoming a little disenchanted with this. Uh, we don't have a way from the airport. We need to have a connection that's as reliable as having a coin in your pocket. People can ignore Bitcoin, sure. It's a question of how long they can ignore it. We're a digital world now, and our currency hasn't been digital. 